Vintage. The word itself creates immediate interest in provocative conversation. Fairbanks, a historical town with a rich golden past and colorful characters. Now, put them together, Vintage and Fairbanks, mix in a little two-stroke oil, throw in some Glenn Miller music. Hundreds of passionate racers and spectators, a beautiful spring day on the Chena River, and you have all the ingredients for a truly memorable one-weekend event. It's the 7th Annual Fairbanks Tired Iron Vintage Snow Machine Race, which draws people to Fairbanks from all over Alaska and from as far away as the Midwest and East Coast. Welcome back to a time when Bill Egan was the governor, when nobody in Fairbanks locked their doors and a gallon of gas cost just 48 cents, and when companies like John Deere, Harley-Davidson, and Montgomery Wards made snow machines. Yes, this was a time when snow machine racing in Alaska was king. If you weren't part of Fairbanks, Alaska in the 60s and 70s, it would be impossible to fully appreciate the flavor of it all. But for those of us that made Fairbanks home during those years, the big earthquake, the flood, the pipeline, and all the other events that made Fairbanks, well, Fairbanks, snow machine racing was a huge part of it all. It was an era. But don't take our word for it. Just ask 90-year-old Ray Mackler or 91-year-old Glenn Despain or 93-year-old Urban Rayhoy, who look forward to this race more than anything all year. It's the least we can do for these Fairbanks pioneers. Besides raising spirits and great memories, we're also raising money for local agencies like the Hospitality House, Lathrop High's Robotics Club, and the Wounded Warrior Project. For 2012, we expect our best tired iron ever, which again includes the finish of the 2,000-mile Iron Dog Snowmobile Race and lots of fun games for kids of all ages. So for those not fortunate enough to have been a part of this colorful winter event of Fairbanks Past, this is your chance to experience it. For those lucky enough to have been part of it, it's what they look forward to every winter, the opportunity to relive it.